Welcome to the homework for lesson four. It's module five of grade three. Please write your name first. Each shape is one whole. Estimate to, find, to equally partition the shape and shade to show the given fraction. So this row we're going to make everything into halves. So circle's pretty easy. I'm just going to go through the center right down the middle. And one half means I'm going to shade one of the two halves. There. Uh, the arrow. The only way to draw to make this arrow in, go in half is to go right down like that. That way you know that the two halves are the same. And here we have a line. So this will be one half. About and we can shade this here and this crescent moon sort of shape we'll have to go there about for half and we'll shade in the top half there is another way to do that one it's really tricky though if you wanted to it would be very hard to get it exactly right or to get it to look right to try, kind of do it like that but that's just so much easier to do it this way. And even then, if you did that, you might it might look like it was half, but it still wouldn't be right. So it's just it's really difficult to do it that way. Instead, just use the symmetry. So here's fourths, one fourth we're gonna shade. So here's a circle again, half and half again. So one fourth, I'm going to shade in a fourth. Here's a line. I'm going to cut it in half first and then cut each half in half and shade in this fourth right here. And this looks like a ticket, like a raffle ticket. So I could go, this is going to be symmetrical two ways. So I can go down the middle this way. And I can go across that way, and that's that way each piece is about the same, or as close as I can get it. And then here we have a rectangle, and do the same thing to the rectangle, or we could do halves, and then do it like this. I make that one fourth. And thirds, oh great, we have a circle for thirds. It's going to look kind of like a big Y. Pointing with uh, hands at, oh, about 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock. And 6 o'clock. So that's a third. And I'm going to shade in one of the thirds because it's one third uh, now here's thirds try and get them so that they're close you're never going to get them perfect but get them just so they kind of look like they're the same and this one is thirds about like that and this is thirds which could be about like this. Think of like a half gallon, a box of Neapolitan ice cream. You know, that kind of strawberry and uh, chocolate and vanilla, the three different flavors. Okay, we'll shade in the chocolate here. And that'll be one of the third. This, that's one of the thirds. Each of the shapes represents one whole match each shape to its fraction so one fifth is going to be one uh, uh, out of five of the parts shaded so let's see this has more than five so it can't be a fifth the next one has also has more than five pieces it can't be this circle has it looks like eight pieces i can't those can't be fifths the square has halves the line has fourths 
this looks like a tape diagram. One, two, three, four, five. That's five pieces, and we need one fifth. So that's it. This is that's one of five pieces. So those are fifths, and one of them is shaded, so it's one fifth. All right, there we go. Now one twelfth. Now this is this first one here is a ten frame. So those are tenths with one shaded. Let's just get that one out of the way. Maybe it might be easier to do it that way. So here's the tenth. That's going to take the one all the way up at the top here. Done. Uh, the twelfth. So we need something with twelve pieces. And this uh, hexagon looks like it might have twelve pieces that all come out almost like a circle here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's tw those are twelfths, and one of them is shaded, so that's one twelfth. Uh, there. Now let me just shrink this up or zoom out. Um, this one at the bottom is one, two, three pieces. Those are thirds, with one of them shaded, so that's one third. Um, the square is obviously their halves, and it's one of them shaded, so that will match up with the halves. This circle looks a lot like a pizza, right? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slices. So those are eighths. So here's the eighth. And this um, here... This line is in fourths, right? Because it's one, two, three, four pieces. Don't be fooled by the dots that separate the segments. There's four pieces to that line, so that's one fourth. And then we have a sixth. So is this right? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Those are sixths. One of them shaded, so that's one sixth. And there's our matchups.